What's going on, y'all? You know who it is. Mr. Warmack, a.k.a. Low Rent, a.k.a. The Ignorant American, a.k.a. The Truth As You Know It, a.k.a. Dirty Business, a.k.a. The Jet Jaguar of YouTube. Alright, everybody. You know who this is. It's uh, Mr. W, and I'm back in the building. Um, today, I'm going to talk about the Hollywood sex scandals going on. and then, uh, I wanted to ask a question. What makes these fucking people think that they're heroes all of a sudden? I mean, come on. These people aren't heroes. Yes, they got sexually assaulted, and they're not heroes. And let me explain. And now we're going to show you this, and this is why. Whenever you wait 30-odd years and you get $20 million plus in the bank, you're not a hero. You sacrificed your sexual dignity for a paycheck. Let me explain something. Harvey Weinstein, um, maybe he did, maybe he didn't. I don't know. I'll, I'll assume he did because I, I face value is just too many people. Okay, say, say he sexually assaulted one person. You guys had to know that. Maybe he went to two. Maybe he went to three. There's a circle of people. There are people who knew this. But yet, you guys stayed quiet. You wonder why? Because some checks were rolling in. You were getting that part. As long as you, you know, got that part, hey, everything was quiet. Now, all of a sudden, there's downturns, and a lot of people are showing that they hit the wall. And if you look at their faces, now all of a sudden, they want to scream, you know, I was sexually assaulted. Now, if any, I, I you know, kids who are sexually assaulted don't wait 50 years down the line and get $20 million, you know, $20 million gross as their money then come out. They usually come out earlier than this or unless somebody's threatening to kill their family. Then they may hide it. But they usually come out soon. Especially kids like look at Sarah Smart. Elizabeth Smart. My fault. She came out right away. There's a lot of kids who come out right away. A lot of kids are afraid to tell because sometimes they may intimidate the, the, the predator may say they're going to kill the family. But none of these Hollywood actors and actresses or any type of hero in my phone in my book. You may have been a victim of a crime. Okay, yes, but why did you wait and wait and wait? You want to know why? Because you wanted that million. You wanted that gold ring. Everybody wishes they had. You wanted those millions of dollars. You wanted the lifestyle. You wanted the jet set. I'm not coming off this. I'm not going. I'm not even going to talk about these wacko Illuminati things that now all of a sudden you're making look right. I don't, I don't believe none of these the wackos who are coming off with the Illuminati. I don't believe that. Please, please don't don't lump me in with these wackos. I'm talking about the people who waited and waited and waited and waited and waited and waited and, and were getting parts. And we're getting movies. And we're getting TV shows. Getting commercials. Book deals. They were making money afterwards off of Harvey Weinstein. Now, are you was it sexually assault or was it a trade-off? To me, I think some of that was a trade-off. I do believe he may have sexually assaulted early on. But after a while, you know how this predator is. And why would you be near him the first couple times? First time you go, okay, maybe you got... But why didn't you go to the police? Why? I mean, there's. I mean, I seen on. I see. I even seen on these little uh, T TMZs and all this Hollywood Reporter crap. People heard about this before, and they went and talked to him, and he denied it. No offense. What's she, what's, what's he supposed to say? Yeah, I molested her. Yeah, I raped your girlfriend. What, what are you gonna do about it? And he probably did say that, and you probably, and you guys probably ducked your head because, again, you were getting six million dollars a film. $2 million of film, you were getting compensated for getting touched. And you didn't have a problem with it then. That's like the one chick uh, off the, what's, what's the one where they were three witches or whatever? Shaved her head, and now all of a sudden she says, I'm a victim. You're a fucking, what, $40 million paid victim? You weren't saying that whenever you were going through the process. You should have, really, like I said, I myself. Do not consider none of these people heroes. Because it, to me, it seems like it's a trade-off. You traded wealth and fame for your sexual dignity. 
And look at the um, look at Kaiser Sose, uh, Kevin Spacey. Now some guy comes out and says, well, "When I was fourteen, and now he's a, a decently paid actor. As far as these Hollywood sexual scandals go, why is it these that these people are heroes all of a sudden? They waited until they got mega rich to open their mouths." I would respect I would respect them as a bunch of up and young coming actors if they all stood together then against the system and said, "Hey, when it first happened, hell, they could have probably got rid of the problem back then, because Hollywood doesn't need that back then either." But to me, they traded their sexual dignity for fame and fortune. They are not heroes at all. Like I said, I'm not going off the slant of the Illuminati crap because I don't believe in that. I mean, yeah, there's an Illuminati, but a lot of these people are, are it's, it's, it, first of all, it's the, not the Illuminati, it's the Bilderberg Group, and there's another set that's even above the Bilderberg Group. If a lot of you people will look this up, and I don't have time to teach it today, but, uh, these people are not heroes. I hate to say this. I mean, does it sound bad? Yeah, it sounds, it sounds like bad, but at the same time, could this have been prevented down the road? That's like I heard one actor say, well, it was in the group chat where it got posted, where somehow where he grabbed, the, the, this dude grabbed his Johnson and smiled and laughed at him. No offense, his head, if that would have been me, if you ain't a chick, and I mean a real chick, I don't mean a transgender, one of, the, one of those motherfuckers. If you're not a real chick and you grab that, you're getting your fucking head knocked off. I don't care who the fuck you are. Uh, this ain't no fuckboy shit over here. But like I said, a lot of these actors want to run around and say, "Well, well, well, I'm a hero. I stood up to, I stood up to the system." No, you didn't. You got paid by the system, and then when it was convenient for you, you came out. But like I said, a lot of you actors knew this was going on, and you didn't say anything about it. So let's not let's let's not call everybody a hero when. There could be blame that goes around. Like I said, he's probably been confronted before, but nobody wanted to say anything. So, so a lot of you heroes need to sit down. And number two, this isn't about the Illuminati. This is about what was right and what was wrong. If you look at typical molestations, they don't wait 20 years and $15 million later to say something. I mean, even, even when Michael Jackson went through his deal, his accuser came out early. They didn't get touched the money till after the fact. But a lot of you guys, are, to me, are not heroes because you trade your fame and you trade fortune for your sexual dignity. Okay, peace.